Branded is a super versatile deck with a lot of different lines of play. Which ones are the right ones to go to and how do you play them? Let's get into it. If you want 5% off any single or sealed product, head over to tierzerogames.com and use code GALZO5 at checkout. How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today I do want to make a video about the basics of branded if you are new to the deck if you don't really have the confidence in knowing what to do because branded is a really complicated deck that can get to the same result with a lot of different lines this is going to be the video for you the basics of what combos and what starters you can do and this is going to be a part one for now and of course leave it down in the comments below if you do want a part two of this video and if so what should be included in that before we begin make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you do enjoy this it will really really help and of course the best way you can support the channel is buying my merch which is in the description below get yourself a despian merch a despian hat and soon a despian playmat as well let's dive into it so let's start off with the one card combo because branded fusion on its own can do two different things and can do a lot of different things but just on its own with let's say a brick as a discard because you do need that discard it can do quite a lot so we're going to start off with the first thing is that if we don't have aluber in our hand maybe the best thing you can do is get yourself an aluber to the hand and extend from there so tragedy and Fallen of Albaz go to the graveyard to summon Lubelion, the Searing Dragon. Then we're going to be activating Lubelion as Chainlink 1 and uh, discarding, of course, for cost and Tragedy as Chainlink 2. Now, this is especially important if you are going up against boards that have monster negates because this is how you chain block your Lubelion. And chain blocking basically means is that if you if your opponent has a card, let's say, for example, like Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, that can negate when a monster activates its effect, then if you send Tragedy to the graveyard with Branded Fusion, and this is very basic, but I think some people might not actually know this and could benefit from learning this, is that they both will trigger at the same time. So in this case, you can choose how to sequence the effects. You can go Tragedy as Chain 1 and Lubelion as Chain 2. The one that is chain 2 can be negated by something like Appaloosa. So if you want to make sure your fusion gets resolved or that your Alibur search gets resolved, you place that monster effect in the chain link 1 position, whichever one you want to protect. So let's say we did go for that, we did discard for cost, and now we are going to trigger Tragedy 2nd, of course, and grab ourselves an Alubur. Then we are going to shuffle back the Albaz and the Lubelion to make ourselves a copy of Mirror Jade. Now, what we can do, of course, is just normal summon the Albion, and from here I'm actually gonna stop, stop the combo because this is what the one branded fusion and discard get you. It gets you to Mirror Jade, which is the boss monster of your deck, and then it gets you to an Aluber, which allows you to extend further with things like branded lost, branded opening, and branded in red. So with the second combo, it's also going to be a one card combo with a Luber, but a Luber can actually just grab you Branded Fusion and do the thing that we just did, right? But that's not exactly the case because Sending Tragedy needs to provide you with value. So that means you already need access to Branded in Red in order for that to matter. But the Aluber one card combo is actually a little bit different because we are going to grab ourselves a copy of Branded Fusion and activate it, but we are going to send the Fallen of Albaz and we are also going to send the Lubelion here. This is utilizing Luber as a dark monster on the field, which was not possible before because you did not have a dark monster on the field. So now we are going to summon Albion, the brand dragon, send this to the graveyard. Then we are going to activate the effect of Albion. We are going to banish Albaz and of course the Luber, put him here, and then we are going to summon ourselves the Lubelion. Now, is this redundant? No, because we are going to get value from the Albion and from the Lubelion. We're going to discard for the effect of Lubelion and shuffle back from Banished the Fallen of Albaz. And we are going to shuffle back the Lubelion as well. And we are going to summon ourselves a copy of Mirror Jade. Now, the chain resolves and we can now tribute the Albion for Lubelion. 
Lubelion can activate its effect. If you are playing things like Branded Beast, you can place a Branded Beast on the field. You can just place Branded Loss, Branded Regained, whichever one you want. And now we got all of this. And now during the end phase, Albion can trigger as well. Search a copy of Branded in Red, depending on what you have in your hand. Branded Banishment, for example, or Branded Retribution. In this case, where you don't have anything of value in the graveyard, Branded in Red doesn't do anything. But imagine that this uh, discard was something like Ad Libidum, Fallen of Albaz, Despian Tragedy, stuff like that then in red becomes valuable but essentially you can set whatever you want with the albion and look at how much value we got off of only one luber now we go into the two card combo and this is a fairly common one this could happen also with things like branded opening for example but the fusion deployment really changes up the game here so we're gonna start with the fusion deployment here it's important that you activate it first reveal grand guignol the dusk dragon just so you'd have your Cartesia to protect your normal summon of the Alubur. So, we summon the Cartesia, and now we can summon the Alubur here. Alubur will um, normal summon, activate the effect, search for the branded fusion. The reason why we start off with the Cartesia here, and again, it's pro probably a little bit of common knowledge, but I did want to make this video for the newer players joining to the branded family, is that you, if you get hit with Imperm or Veiler, you can chain the Cartesia's effect, because it's a quick effect, fuse these two together to dodge those hand traps and interruptions. So again, this is why you always start with the fusion deployment. Now, we are going to activate ourselves the copy of Branded Fusion. Now, what you can do here is, this is the line I personally like to do, and it's just a line that guarantees a lot of power on the board. So, um, and it's just, just from th this two card combo and a discard, of course. So I also like to go here with Fallen of Albaz and Tragedy, so I get access to Ad Libitum. Now, what I'll do is go ahead and Fusion Summon the Lubelion, but here, this is a neat little interaction that you can do just to save yourselves on some card, which means that Lubelion will be Chainlink 1 and will discard, Tragedy will be Chainlink 2, and if your opponent does not have a response to that, then you can activate the Cartesia as Chain 3. Why do we do that? Because we are using the Lubelion on the field, in order to use it as fusion material because it's about to be shuffled back into the extra deck. So what happens here is that when chain three resolves, I can use the Lubelion here and summon the Grand Guignol, the Dusk Dragon. Then I can uh, search for the Ad Libidum with a tragedy and shuffle back the Fallen of Albaz to my deck and the Lubelion that we just used, I'm gonna shuffle it back as well to make a copy of Mirror Jade. Now, this means um, that we also have a trigger on the summon of Grand Guignol, and we're going to be using that to send a copy of Albion. Now, we are going to go to the end phase here. We're going to activate the effect of Cartesia, and we are going to activate the effect of Albion, the Branded Dragon, and get ourselves a copy of Branded in Red right? And this is only from the two card combo. So what happens now is that you actually have an effect to activate with Grand Guignol to summon something like Bruskinian on Aquarius. You of course have another banish non-targeting with Mirror Jade, but now because we have Ad Libitum in play, we can activate Branded in Red in our opponent's turn, get ourselves the tragedy from the hand, then we can make a Chimera with um, either the Alubur, but preferably with the Mirror Jade that we already used, uh, or you can also use the Alubur and the Mirror Jade, depending on how many cards do you want to pop. We are going to make the Chimera, and then we are going to, first of all, chain block the Chimera. So Chimera is going to be Chain Link 1, Tragedy to search us follow up for the next turn, and then add Libidum to summon back the Mirror Jade. Now, we summon back the Mirror Jade, we go ahead and search for another copy of Alubur to the hand with Tragedy. And then we are going to, of course, draw two cards with the Guardian Chimera. I swear to God, I did not put that on the top deck. The deck was just probably like, you know, um, organized that way. And now we popped a card, drew two, 
right? And we banished one before, and now Mirror Jade is live again because it's soft once per turn. And then we can just activate the effect of, uh, you know, the Mirror Jade once again, just because we summoned it back with the Ad Libitum. And this is all, um, this is basically two um, target, uh, non-targeting banished, and also a pop one, draw two, or draw one, pop two on the field with this. And of course, a insane follow-up because you can banish whatever you want. But your graveyard is already really, really stacked. These, of course, are um, banished. But um, yeah, this is this is basically just like off the fusion deployment and the Aluber. Wait, only 32% of you are subscribed? Come on, guys, leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying this and subscribe to support the channel. So now we're gonna be looking at another two card combo with an additional monster that you can fuse with, which your deck is full of them. It could be Mercurier, a Kaiju, Dark Magician, any bestial. What we wanna do here is get to Branded Fusion without using Alubur at all. And this is just a monster that can be fused with Cartesia. Let's, let's take Radiant, for example, just because it doesn't do anything going first. And if this is your hand, which does happen and can happen, this really helps. So now we're gonna get to Branded Fusion without um, getting to Alubur. So of course, we're gonna start off with the Fusion Deployment. Honestly, it will be smarter to even start off with the Branded Lost here. Then we're gonna activate the Deployment, search for our Cartesia and summon it. Now we are gonna activate the effect of Cartesia on the field and we're gonna fuse with the monster that we have in hand, either a light or a dark monster. A lot of times it's like a bestial or something like a kaiju that you can't really use. Now we are gonna go ahead and summon Granginyol, the Dusk Dragon, activate its effect as chain one and branded losses chain two. Now we are gonna get ourselves a copy of I'll be on the Shrouded Dragon from the Branded Lost, and we're gonna send to the graveyard our bestial Serenir. Now, Serenir is gonna hit the graveyard and of course trigger its effect, sending a branded spell trap to the graveyard. And maybe now you already understand what this will do. Now, when Branded Retribution is in the graveyard, we can activate the effect of Albion, sending as cost whatever branded card you need. This does not have to be Branded Fusion. Let's say in this scenario, we actually don't have Branded Fusion. So Albion sends Branded Fusion to the graveyard as cost. We already have a pretty good graveyard setup. We will put Albion back to the bottom and draw an additional card. Now we can banish the branded distribution, target the branded fusion, get it back to hand, and we go ahead and play. And we did not need to go through an Aluber here. And basically you opened what you would sometimes call a brick, but unless you have the, because you have branded lost on the field and you can start searching for the Aluber and send Serenia to the graveyard with the Grand Guignol, you can just get to branded fusion like that. So this is probably the strongest uh, combination of two cards that you can open. And we do want to look at what that looks like. And this is a very simple line that gets you to the maximum potential of the deck. I think that you don't, there's no reason to overextend with this deck because it's basic board is already super powerful. Now, again, this really depends on what you already have in your hand, but branded lost branded fusion, and we go into the tragedy line. So tragedy, Brand uh, Fallen of Albaz. Now we basically end on the same thing that we did with the Chimera here, um, but we are gonna get another Negate. And again, this is based a lot on what you already have in your hand. But in this scenario, we are gonna be activating Lubelion, discarding Tragedy to search, and then Branded Lost. And Branded Lost is just gonna grab us the Mercurier that can actually negate. And now we are gonna be shuffling back, of course. Oh, we're gonna be searching from the tragedy. Yep, don't forget about the tragedy. There's a lot of chain linking that you can do here. And then Fallen Valdez. And we are gonna go for the Mirror Jade. And now in this scenario, we are going to go ahead and activate the mirror jade here, sending the Albion to the graveyard. We're gonna be banishing the Aluber here. And then during the end phase, we can set up Brandon and Red. And this is again, you can do this a lot of other ways. Now you basically have only a mirror jade here on the board. 
that doesn't do anything but you first of all can activate can already activate the branded in red during the end phase right you don't have to set it to your field you can get this to your hand and then you can go ahead and fuse with a mirror jade get something like a dragus tepelion mord versus a lot of decks this will honestly be enough and we can summon back the mirror jade with the ad libitum and now what you already have on the board are two negate and a non-targeting banished which a lot of the times will be enough and a lot of people have been asking how do you get to red eyes dark dragoon so it's super easy branded fusion sends to the graveyard already the materials for um dragoon we're sending the dark magician and we're sending the fallen valbaz we are getting of course the lubelion and we are going to be sending this as cost and shuffling back the dark magician and we're going to be shuffling back the lubelion itself personally i currently only play the one lubelion this is why i'm shuffling it but you can also shuffle back the albaz because it's a dragon monster so again based on your resources that will be what you will banish and now we're just going to summon the dragoon and this is how you get to dragoon off of one card so these have been some lines you can go for in the current Despia build using cards like Fusion Deployment, of course, a lot of one and two card combos combined with Abyss Chills and just learning to maximize the potential of the deck in general. If you don't want me to make a part two of this, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought and what could be covered in the next portion of the series. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you like this kind of content and are not subscribed already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.